All right, welcome everybody. Jason here from Alliance Called Property Experts. I've got one of my clients here, Gary Young. Hey mate, how are you? Good, how are you yourself? <laughs> yeah, very well. Yeah. Um, now look, Gary, uh, we've just done one of Gary's portfolio reviews. So with all the clients with your lifetime membership, it's really important to um, catch up on a regular basis. So we make sure that we do these portfolio reviews every six to 12 months. The reason why I got Gary in today is because I really want to inspire you guys and really show you guys that anyone can build these portfolios, all right? You don't need to be super wealthy. Um, you don't need a lot of experience. You just got to commit to the process. Now, Gary's got a great story. And the reason why I like Gary's story is because we've also got a lot of clients, a lot of wealthy clients, a lot of doctors that also do quite well, but nobody wants to hear about the wealthy getting wealthier and their financial positions are different. In Gary's situation, Gary is what we refer to as middle income Australia, just your working class, hard working person and wants to set himself up for retirement, um, want, wants to make sure he can have a comfortable retirement and to do that we looked at property. Gary also mentioned a, mentioned a point earlier too about being able to do this without changing his lifestyle. The way in which we structure the finance and use your master facilities and use your equity, Gary was able to use his equity position to build his portfolio. He didn't have to put any of his own income in. So all your income still kept going into your pocket, cover any of your personal debts and things like that. So it hasn't changed your lifestyle, has it? No. People go, well, how can you buy six properties and there's no change to the lifestyle? Well, that's where you've got to understand how the finance works and I half on about this and half on about this. But now you're in a position, right? And I just had Gary in the office. We just did through the portfolio review and we just went through the properties. So you can see here what he paid for the properties. A lot of those properties were in around the early 400s to mid 400s when we bought them uh, over the last two years. It's been uh, almost two and a half years now and he's generated uh, approximately just over $400,000 in equity. All right, so, you know, and I asked Gary the question, mate, you know, how long would it have taken you to save up 400,000 if you weren't doing something like this? A lifetime. Yeah, it's, a it's, lifetime. it's not, it's not ch achievable because, you know, for the most part, your job, your, your career, the, the, your income is enough there to cover your bills. It's enough there to cover, um, you know, maybe a few holidays and stuff, but it's not a wealth creation tool. So within the space of just over two years, Gary has six properties. He's generated over $400,000 in additional equity uh, in some of these locations. Look, some of these properties, Cranbourne East, we bought it for four fifty-five. dollars They're all selling now for over six hundred. dollars um, You know, Rock Bank, four sixty-seven, dollars um, around that five sixty. dollars Geelong, four eighteen, dollars uh, now selling around that five ten, five twenty. dollars All right, so plenty, plenty of equity there. So now what we're going to do is move some of that equity back across to the master facility. What that will mean is that when Gary goes into retirement, roughly approximately six years from now, we'll then look at off-selling or slowly selling some of those lower yielding properties, take, take the funds from that after we pay a little bit of capital gains tax and then pay that money into the remaining properties. Um, he might have a few in his personal name, it could be some in the self made super fund, pay those debts down so those properties are cash flow positive. So we're on target um, as we keep pushing to have, for, for Gary to have an income of about sixty to $70,000 in retirement, right? Now, if you're living in Thailand, mate, on sixty or seventy thousand dollars, happy days, yeah. Laughing on that. Happy days. Tax three dollars. Yes, happy days. Yeah, so, that is. so th this isn't about um, buying a property, right? This video isn't about teaching you how to buy a property. This video is teaching you how to build a portfolio of properties. All right, it's very different to buying a single purchase, and there's rules that need to be followed. You need to get professional advice. You need to understand your borrowing capacity, equity position, the structures, the timing, which locations. You know, he's got great diversification in that he's in different locations so he's not exposed to the one market. He hasn't changed his lifestyle. He doesn't have to put any of his own money into this. And now we'll push all that equity back and we'll look at getting another uh, couple of properties. So in terms of your experience in the early stages, the education, the strategies gave you a lot of confidence. Yeah. But talk to us about after you purchase those initial properties because this is a life lifetime experience, right? It's a lifetime membership with us. Oh, it is. It you is. know, what, what sort of support were you getting after we purchased, you know, in terms of holding your hand throughout the process? The, the, the support from day one to now yeah. has been terrific. Um, the, Jason and the boys are there. I can call up if I've got any daughter things come in. Um, with Alliance, they're 100% or 110% behind you. And... Um, Every step of the way, it's easy. 
Yeah. It was, the first one was a joining because you don't understand, you don't know, but you can ask any questions any time, day or night. They're there for you. And once you've done one, you're mad if you don't do another yeah. seven. If you yeah. go to the lucky number eight. Yeah. So th this service, guys, isn't about just helping you purchase property. It's about holding your hand all the way through the process. You know, you guys are busy people. It's one of the reasons why you come to us. Um, you know, we've got nearly 20 staff here doing all the research, finding the locations, doing all the negotiations, dealing with all the builders, developers. And once we put in that first offer or expression of interest on that first property, um, we have a concierge team here. They take care of everything. So they manage all the finances. We organise the finance strategists, the solicitors. We help you find uh, all the property managers. We hold your hand all the way through the process until you've got a tenant in that property. And then you come in for your portfolio reviews every six to 12 months, and then we keep putting strategies in place. We update you on what the values of the properties are now, um, and now we help you take that equity out and put it back in that master facility so you can continue to grow uh, this portfolio. So in terms of the future, mate, it's looking bright. Yeah, right? well. It's looking bright, because who would have thought that after two and a half years, you got six properties and almost a half a million dollars in equity yeah. sitting there in just two and a half years. I would, I would never have dreamt it. All right, and we yeah. haven't finished yet because- I would, have, I would I'm sorry, I would have yeah. honestly been like a lot of the, the, the other mugs out there, put money into one house, hope they'd give me enough interest to live on or you know sell at one stage when it's paid for, and not the way to go. No, and I, talk, and I talk about this a lot, and Gary fully understands that now. Um, the buy and hold strategy doesn't really work if you only have one or two properties, because it takes too long. So you can imagine if Gary did this himself, and he went out like most people and bought himself one property. Now let's assume he still was lucky enough to go in a really good location. Let's say, for example, he bought that Cranbourne one. He would still only have one property today, um, and he, he would still only have just over $100,000 there, all right? whereas we've shown you no, you can comfortably have six properties there, and now you've got half a million dollars there. So when I talk about this, guys, I'm talking about your opportunity costs, right? So you don't want to be in a position where you don't invest to your full potential, and that doesn't mean necessarily taking a lot of risks. I argue sometimes when people say, Jace, but I'm conservative. Conservative can work against you, because someone being conservative to say, look, I'm just going to buy one property and see what happens over the next few years, well, in that case, if you're in Gary's situation and you chose to do that, you would have cost yourself almost $400,000, all right, being conservative. So as long as you get professional advice, as long as you've got your cash flows protected, as long as you've got buffers left over. So Gary has buffers in his master facility, so it doesn't matter if properties are sitting vacant or interest rates fluctuate, the master facility manages all those cash flows. But Gary is now investing to his full potential, and because of that, you're going to reap the rewards. What does this uh, outcome give you in terms of confidence moving forward in terms of retirement? What are some of the things that you've been uh, up to since then? It's, um, it's been great because uh, the confidence you get, the first I'll say it was daunting and I was scared. Mm. The first couple of houses yeah. I was seeing it and you know, like, where does this money come from? Where does that money come from? But I didn't put my hand in my pocket. Yes. Because i got you know, short arms and deep pockets. But, <laughs> yeah. but um, yeah, and then they got up and going, and I could see things changing, things happening. You know, yeah. Once those renters got in there, yeah. I think, oh, beautiful, That's, this one's done and dusted. It's going to make yes. money. Uh, we'll think about the others. And the others become easy. Yes. You know, a little bit of judgment. Because it gives you stuff. confidence. I had the confidence to, to do that. Um, yeah, so I've been going over to Thailand. I got a wife over in Thailand, got married there. Yep. And um, we're just waiting for the day where we can go back there, live in Thailand nine months of the year, travel back there for three, see the family, yep. the kids. And also too, you mentioned you bought a property over there to help the yeah, family yeah, out there. Yeah, I bought a property there and um, that was amazing to see the, the smiling faces and the stature they put on the whole family in their little village, because where a couple of weeks come from, it's just, uh, you, you can't imagine that in the villages. Kid sheds, shacks, lean twos, that's how they, they live. And yeah. In the middle of her village now is this beautiful Thai style three bedroom, two bathroom house, and uh, they're like kings. And that's fantastic. And it makes my heart, you know, just so happy to go there. Of course, see. because not only have you helped yourself, now you're able to help others as well, yeah. um, you know, th through these uh, strategies. So 
what advice can you give other people out there that are sort of watching these videos going, oh, you know, is this something I can really do? You know, oh, I still got some concerns. What advice can you give them? Number one, get on the phone, ring a Lions Club, speak to Jason or one of the guys, because as you can see, in two and a half years, I'm, I'm a happy fella now. And in, in another four years, I'll be double happy. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and the, the, the company, you know, they will look after you 100% all the way. And mate, and you back that too, because you're, oh, yeah, you're, you, you've got clients that call you. So yes, you're, yes. Gary's happy to take your call. So we always say to the clients, look, you know, one of the best ways to get confidence is to talk to the clients, talk to other people that are doing this. So our clients regularly give out their phone numbers. Gary is happy to give you his phone number. And if you want to chat to Gary or any of the other clients, because there's plenty of clients that are doing the same thing. But I really love Gary's story because he made that commitment. He was very clear. He said, Jay, she put a plan in front of me and I'll follow it. And he's done exactly what he was what he was supposed to do. He's followed the plan to a T. And then because of that, now he's got six properties with nearly half a million dollars. And we've still got another six years to go. Um, so look, great work, Gary. I'm glad you came in and saw, saw us yeah, just over I'm, I'm two, today too, mate. two yeah. years ago. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking to the financial planners, I'm going to be talking to the finance strategists, and I'm going to work out with them whether we look at another purchase in his personal name or whether we not look at something in the self-managed super fund because some, there's some advantages there to do that. Um, and uh, we'll probably target something like a dual income now. I want something a lot higher yielding now because interest rates are going to go up towards the end of the year. So I want to offset some of those creeping interest rates with some high yielding properties uh, as well. So again, fantastic work, Gary. You're an inspiration to everyone out there. Um, and let's keep pushing forward and see where we can end up in six years time. And I'll come back and talk to you again. Fantastic. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, guys.